Hello there, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Beetle Bailey. So come on, let's get started. Hey, cartooners, you ask for it, you'll get it. You guys want to learn how to draw Beetle Bailey from the comic strips. So, I mean, let's, let's just dive right on in. When I was first thinking, yeah, okay, they want to draw it, I'm going to draw it, but I'm going to have to explain who it is. I don't have to explain who Beetle Bailey is, do I? I mean, you clicked on the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with, it's not a circle, it's not an oval, it's kind of in between. It's an uneven shape here. And uh, from here, what I'm going to do is kind of throw in his action line. All he's going to be doing is standing. He's getting ready for uh, probably his orders for the day. So this character was invented by artist Mort Walker. And he based this off of his time serving in the army. He came up with this character while on the base. He saw some people slacking around and not paying attention, getting yelled at by drill sergeants, and inspiration hit him. So we've got this, this hat. Now, Beetle is a very lazy character. He is uh, not paying attention to what he needs to be, right? When everybody's spit polishing, he is uh, daydreaming while leaning up against the, the barracks. So we've got this cap, right? Because they have caps, but his is extremely wrinkled. The brim is pulled over his eyes. So this right here is how the cap looks. To really push that it's pulled down over his face, his nose comes out from around it. Now, so that it looks less confusing. Upturn cap, nose, face. His great big ear here. If you guys are watching this and drawing with me, but you've never seen a Beetle Bailey cartoon, Treat yourself. Go pull one up on YouTube. They're a lot of fun. Okay, so this is his head shape, right? And then we're going to give him a dopey smile. Those of you who have seen this character in the comic strips or on a cartoon, you know what I'm talking about. For those of you that don't, go check it out. Uh, after after drawing this video, please, if you go check it out now, please come back. Please, please come back. Okay, so we've got his hair uncombed, and it's sticking out like so. And he's got a couple freckles. Now, that circle I drew for his shoulders, right? I'm just going to, before I throw in the rest of the body. I'm just going to throw in his t-shirt line and throw in the shirt where it's open here. He has a lapel and it's, you know, it's not down where it's supposed to be. It's kind of upturned like he popped his collar. Although I promise you he probably did not do that on purpose. This side, there we go. So why did I draw this in before I drew in the body? Because this is how I measure it. From the top of his head down to the bottom of his uh, lapel here, if I double that, there's his waist. And now that I have that, I'll go from his shoulders down to his waist, and I'll bring it down, and there's the floor. You see, there's a formula for everything, you just need to find it. 
There is nothing worse than drawing in the character and his head is either too big or too small. So you throw in what you know and then you can base the size relation off of that. Like I said, he's lazy, he slouches, um, he's not standing at attention. His shirt is tucked in, but it's very loose. So throw that in like that. You'll have a waist like this. And like I said, he's slouching. Uh, let's see, the knee will be halfway down. I had that right. There's fabric there for the knee. And the pants flail out a little bit there toward the bottom. Some excess fabric here behind the knee and we go up now I'm not drawing dark here you'll notice and you'll see why in a minute okay so you see I've got this bit here for his knee I want this one a little more pronounced a little higher you don't want them completely even okay so we're gonna draw some cuffs in here but we need to draw in the shoes So remember, we're drawing Mort Walker style here. We're not drawing like Jim Davis. We're not drawing like Jim Lee. We're drawing like Mort Walker. So the toes to his boots are kind of like oval shapes. He's got a heel back here. And we will connect it like that. He has a very wide cuff at the bottom of his pants. The toes of his boots come over it, like so. And then, we got his other toes here like that. Cuff and sticks out like so. Now, the connection between the main part of the boot and the sole of the boot is a little on the straighter side. Sorry, I'm the peg is getting in the way here. Let's get a heel there and there like that. See, this is why when Warner Brothers animates, their animators use the pegs at the top. Okay, so I've got this in, right? His hand will come down about here. He is slouching, so the hand is coming straight down. His shoulder is low right here so his arm they're very thin and they'll come down like this his sleeves are rolled up and those cuffs are nice and baggy right here just like that Now, there are still some newspapers that carry and run Beetle Bailey cartoons. I want to say the one, well, you guys will want to check to see if your local paper carries this. Um, wait a minute. Nobody gets the paper anymore. <laughs> As you can see, my videos while drawing are not scripted. <laughs> Who gets a paper today? <laughs> my poor father. Oh, he used to get the paper in the morning and find that I'd already been through it. <laughs> just to get the comics out. <laughs> One day he says, hey, listen, come here. I don't have a problem with you using the paper, but um, I like to be the first one to open it, okay? Fair enough. <laughs> that was easy. We never had that discussion again. 
Guys, if you like drawing classic characters like this, I've got a whole playlist. It's right here for you. Go click on that. See what else you want to draw. I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me today. And until the next video, we'll see you later.